welcome back to my channel and another how to video. This one is a three part series showing you how to plan, film, and create a 3D map using an iOS app called Copterus and your DJI drone. For this series of videos, I will be using the Mavic Mini. In part one, I showed you how to use the app to create the mission. Click the link at the top now for this video. And in part two, I showed you how to fly the mission and capture the images needed. Again, the link for this is at the top of the screen. In this final part, I will now show you how to create a 3D map of Final Castle using Web ODM. Firstly, download all the images taken in the mission from your drone to your Mac or PC. For this example, I am using an iMac. Here you can see the 96 photos of the castle taken during the mission. Here are a few examples showing the various shots taken. Next, we need to open Web ODM. If you don't already have it installed, I will add a link to where you can download it in the description. Please comment if you'd like me to make a video on downloading and installing Web ODM. If you are using a Mac, the first thing you will need to do is switch the default browser from Safari to Chrome. Once you have done this, locate the Web ODM application and open it. While loading, it will also open a second app called Docker. Once loaded, you will see the Start button appear in the Web ODM window. Click Start to open Web ODM. Web ODM will then open a Google Chrome window. If you are not already signed in, at this point you will be either asked to sign in or create an account. For this example, I was already signed in. Now let's get on and create the map. Click Add Project. Give the project a name and if required, a description. When you're ready, click Create Project. Click Select Images. Locate and select all the images you downloaded from the drone earlier. Click Open to upload them to Web ODM. Before we begin, ensure the processing node is set to Auto. You are creating a 3D model and set resize image to Yes and 2048 pixels. When ready, click Review and then Start Processing. The image is then prepared for the map creation. So you can view the progress of the map creation, click the plus icon next to the project name. Then on the right hand side, click Task Output to On. The progress of the map creation will then be shown along with the duration just above. When the map processing is complete, you will see the word done in the task output field and the progress bar will show completed. This 95 photo map took just over 60 minutes to complete on a 2020 i7 iMac with 64 gigabytes. So let's have a look at what we created. Click view map. The 2D satellite map will load with your photos superimposed over the top. Should you wish, you can drag the map around as well as zooming it in and out using the mouse or the relevant icons. When you're ready to look at the 3D map, click the 3D map icon in the bottom right hand corner. The basic 3D model will then load, showing a 3D representation based on the photos you took when flying the Copterus mission. Again, you can drag and zoom using the mouse. Should you want a more textured model, click the textured model icon at the top left of the screen and tick the box. The final model will then load. You can see from the model that more images are needed to fill in some of the spaces. So a second mission will be planned, probably taking more photos with the gimbal at a different angle. To help identify possible gaps in the pictures, you can see where the drone took the photos in the app. Click the camera icon and tick show cameras. This now shows all the photo points during the mission where the drone took a photo. So that is how you create a basic 3D map. When you're ready to return to the beginning, click Dashboard and you'll go back to the Web ODM main screen. Should you wish to use the 3D data you've created, you can also download it in various formats from the dashboard. Click Download Assets, select the type you want to download, in this case I'm going to download all assets, locate where you want to save it and click Save. It will then create a zip file with all the assets in this location. When you've finished and want to close Web ODM, simply click Stop. The app will then close down. Click on the Web ODM icon to quit it, and then do the same on the Docker icon to quit this as well. Close Google Chrome, and that's it. This is the end of my three part series. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.